Well, hi there, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we're going to do a finger puppet show. Can you guess what story? <laughs> That's right, the three little pigs. Oh, be sure to subscribe, or the big bad wolf might get you. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, let's get started. One day, there were three little pigs, and they lived with their mother. But the day came when it was time to go out into the world and seek their fortunes. Darlings, I love you so very much, Mother said. But it is time for you to go out and create your own lives and go out into this wide world and seek your fortune. Now, if I could leave you with one thought, my darlings, it is that whatever you do in life, give it your best, because success comes from hard work. And with that, the three little pigs set about on the road away from their mommy's house into the big wide world. The first piggy, he saw a man on the road who was carrying some straw. Mmm, look at that straw man. I bet it'd be real fast for me to build a house out of straw. I could be done in like a day or two and have all this time to play with my friends. I don't know, brother, said the oldest. I don't know that a house out of straw will protect you from all the dangers of the world, like storms and wolves. <laughs> don't worry, man. It'll be cool, he said. And the first little pig bought the straw from the merchant and proceeded to get his home built in a day or two. And he had lots of time to play with his friends. The second brother, the middle one, he saw a man on the road carrying some sticks. Hmm. I think to myself that um, some sticks would be really good to build my house out of. It'd be stronger than my silly brother that's building out of a straw. But I could be done in like four or five days and have lots of time to play with my friends. And so the middle brother bought the sticks from the stick merchant and built his home and was finished in four or five days. Now, the oldest brother, he was wise and fastidious. He had been studying the best way to build homes by watching YouTube videos. And when he saw the man on the road who was the brick merchant, he knew that that was what he would build his house out of. Yes, <clears throat> yes, my brothers, a brick home is the way to go. It will probably take me a month of solid, hard work. But then I will have a home that will stand forever. And so he bought the bricks and spent the next month working very hard while his other brothers played, building his strong and sturdy home. It wasn't long before a big, bad wolf made his way down the road where the three pigs lived. <clears throat> Man, I'm so hungry. What's that I smell in the air? Is that piglet? Mmm. And he came upon the straw house. <laughs> Please tell me that's a little piglet in that straw house. <laughs> I could use a big dinner on this cold night. And so the wolf went to the house made of straw and knocked at the door. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Hey, dude, not by the hair, my chinny chin chin. Well, then I'll huff, and then I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. And he blew that straw house down, and that little piggy <coughs> ran to his brother's house, who had a home made of sticks. The wolf, who had a very good nose, followed the scent of pig to the house made of sticks. Oh brother, oh brother, I sure made a mistake, man. That wolf just blew my house down like so fast. <laughs> Don't worry, brother. This one of sticks is built sturdier. It'll last, I'm sure of it. So the wolf came to the stick door and knocked. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair, my chinny chin chin. Dude. The pig said, well, that wolf, he huffed and he puffed and he blew that stick house down. And those two pigs were running to the brother's house, who had a home made of bricks. 
And they said, oh, brother, oh, brother, oh, dude, man, we're in trouble. The wolves pulled up both of our houses. Not to fear, brothers. My home is made of bricks. It shall withstand wolf and storm. Not to worry. Well, the wolf made his way down the road, and he came to the front door of the brick house, where he knocked at the door. Little pigs, little pigs, you let me in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. I made this house of bricks and it will stand. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll... <clears throat> I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll... <clears throat> well, he could not blow that house in no matter how hard he huffed and puffed. See, we told you, I told you. But this was a very clever wolf. And as he looked up at the roof, he got an idea. He saw the chimney. So he began to climb up the side of the house. While the two brothers were celebrating, the older brother heard the wolf and thought for a minute and realized his plan. And he quickly, built a fire under the chimney where there sat a large cast iron pot. And when the wolf crawled to the top of the chimney and jumped head first down right in to that pot of boiling water. <laughs> Told you so! <laughs> and those piggies had wolf stew for a month. The next day, they decided to go back home and tell their mom of their great adventure. Mom, you were so right. It's so important for us to do our best. I was lazy and I built an easy house and that thing didn't stand one bit. Mm -hmm. I learned the same lesson too, Mom. Mine was a little better, but I knew I could have done more. Yes, brothers, I'm so encouraged that we've all learned this great lesson. And their mother was pleased. And for the rest of their lives, in all their endeavors, those pigs worked hard, they did their best, and they were successful. And that ends the story of the three little pigs. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> and until next time, happy story time. Bye.